Over the last several months, we've seen an increase in the number of accounts that are being compromised. Whether these are bank accounts, financial accounts, investment accounts, most of them have monetary impact because most attacks today are going after the money. It's really a commercialization of cybercrime where they're targeting individuals with the hope of getting a monetary gain. The reality is we have to do a better job of protecting, monitoring, and controlling our access. Let's just be simple here. Passwords have outdone their usefulness. Unless you're still in the 1980s, you're wearing bell-bottom pants, and you're listening to the Bee Gees. Nothing wrong with the Bee Gees. I'm not, I'm not here to criticize your musical taste. The point is we have to move beyond passwords. Two-factor two-factor, two-factor, multi-factor, whatever you want, 2FA, MFA, right? There's many, many words for the same thing, but you have to have multiple forms of authentication. You have to be able to log in and provide a traditional password, but then get an out-of-band secondary authentication, typically from a cell phone or an email or an out-of-band device. By the way, Entering two passwords is not 2FA, right? It's 1FA done twice, right? Because I've seen some cases where they go, oh, well, Eric, I enter a password and it goes to the next screen and I enter a second password. Yeah, that's one factor authentication done twice. That is not what we're talking about. You have to have two different forms. Remember, when you authenticate, it could be something you know, a password, something you have, a token, something you are, right, like your biometrics, or something you get like a, uh, a text or some other form. So you have your different methods there, and you have to choose at least two of those. So a password and a token is great. Tokens, by the way, are one of the best because unless somebody physically steals your token, right, they're not going to get in. But getting an out-of-band Password is also very, very valuable. So you want to make sure that all of your accounts with sensitive information are using some form of 2FA, something you know and something you're given, something you're provided, right? Something you have that's not something you remember that an attacker can easily get access to. Then the second most important piece is account notification. You have to be notified when people are accessing your account. Now, I know it's some people that go, well, Eric, this is done all the time. It's a little bit of an annoyance. Okay. But once again, which do you want? A little bit of an annoyance or a compromise? We're currently at the time and place in cybersecurity where there's no free lunch. You can't say I'm not going to do anything and be good. All right? You have to have a little bit of friction. So is the friction going to be that you get notification and have to approve every time somebody logs into your account? Or do you want your account compromised? The decision is simple. In my mind, I'd rather spend three seconds verifying and validating when somebody tries to access my account than spending 30 days and 10K trying to fix a compromise. So if we want to lock down our accounts, let's take control, two-factor authentication, account notification, and start taking control of our access.